battery boosters and battery assisters. What these different devices do is they enable you to start your vehicle when your battery is low. Now the purpose of this video is to tell you fellas the difference between this type and a different type and the reason for that. This type here, the inside battery is a lead acid type battery. It may be an AGM battery, but the bottom line is it's lead acid based. Now these batteries will hold up all year long. They're big, they're bulky, and they're a little bit awkward to maneuver. That's the only downfall with these. Price, well, they're about, just about as equal of price as the small compact ones, which we'll talk about later. But these ones here, they're not going to give you any issues in the wintertime, nor the summertime. They're a really good unit for all seasons. Now you can keep them in your vehicle with you as an emergency, or you can keep them in your house or shed or wherever you want to keep them. But the trick with these is that you can't let them sit without being used and without bringing them to a charge every couple of months. You want to give them a fresh charge up. Don't let them sit on your shelf for six months or a year, year and a half. You'll be disappointed when you go to use them because they won't work for you. So this type here is a real good type for all season. Your winter time, your cold time, your warm time. Now the next type we're about to talk about is a lithium based battery type. They're small, they're compact, and they work really, really well, the same as these type do. These type are big and bulky. The next type, they're not big and bulky. They're very small and compact. Now, the type I'm talking about are these types right here. This particular, we're not going to go into name brands or any of the above. There's a few different types of these uh, lithium-based type, and that's the type we're looking at now. Now, these ones here have some good advantages good advantages and some disadvantages the good advantages is, is that they work great when it's warm out you can leave them in your vehicle they don't take up too much room you can basically put them in your glove box behind your seat under your seat that type of thing they're very small and compact and they work excellent in the warm environments that is the cold environments now we're talking this is a different story you're going to be very disappointed when you go to grab this from underneath your seat when it's negative 20 out and you're going to your vehicle in the morning and you need some battery assistance this is where you're going to run into the problems i'm speaking from experience this is how i know it these ones here do not perform well i believe it's because they're lithium based they do not perform well when it's cold out so if you're going to use this type don't keep it under your seat. Don't even keep it in your vehicle. Keep it in the house where it's warm. Now, there's only one bad part about that is that you can only use it at home. It's going to be pretty difficult to use it when you're shopping and you're in the parking lot and you've left it in your vehicle because it's not going to perform well. And it's probably going to be inconvenient of bringing it every time you go in your vehicle, bringing it from your house to the vehicle. But that would be one way around it. Every time you leave the house, grab a hold of this booster pack and bring it along with you. And then it'll work okay for you because it's never going to have the opportunity of getting cold. If you leave this type in your vehicle and you go to reach for it when you have a low battery and you're going to be trusting in this lithium type, you're going to be disappointed. It's probably not going to do the job for you. So I would recommend the other type, the lead acid type, the big bulky ones. Price range, they're probably comparable in price. They're about all roughly the same. You have some poor quality ones and some better quality ones, so the price fluctuates somewhat. But uh, the, the, object, the, the objective of this video is to tell you the difference between the lithium-based battery type and the lead-acid-based battery type. So the lithium-based battery are no good in the wintertime. The lead-acid-based batteries are good all year long. I hope this video helped and I hope a lot of people watch it and um, listen to it because it's good.